Hello everyone and welcome to another brand new video. Today we're going to be going over the most recent episode of Pokemon Horizons and this review is probably going to be pretty quick because honestly not too much happened. Despite the fact that last time we saw the shiny Rayquaza come back he really didn't stick around for all too long. So once Rayquaza shows up Roy pretty much calls out to it for a battle. I'm not sure why because I think we can all pretty much understand that there's no way Fue Coco and Washer will be able to handle Rayquaza, but Roy is adamantly challenging it to a battle to the point that Freed needs to hold him back. It's really crazy how desperately Roy wants this battle, but regardless, he doesn't get that battle because Amethio shows up and he tries to challenge Rayquaza, but he's also no match for this Pokemon. He and now I do like the fact that he does use Cerulege along with Corviknight. We really don't see him using Corviknight to battle all too much, but in this episode, we do, but Corviknight pretty much is just kind of aerial transportation for Cerulege. It's pretty much all it does, and we do see Cerulege land like one hit on Rayquaza, but it doesn't really do anything else besides that, and then it just gets blasted and taken down immediately. Then after that, Roy just still calls out to a battle, but of course, he doesn't get it, and Rayquaza does just attack everyone, but thankfully, Terrapagos transforms into its terrestrialized form, and it does save them, but just doing that ends up making it really exhausted, and it ends up reverting back to its normal form, and then everyone else just kind of flees, and Rayquaza flies off. So, not too much again, like I said, happens. That's pretty much all we see, and after that, that's the first half. And the second half of the episode is really just Diana talking to Freed, and I'm guessing that's where she tells him that she's about to leave their cruise ship, which... I'm pretty glad about because she hasn't done really anything of major note since she's been here. She's kind of just been taking up space, so I'm pretty glad she's leaving. But we know in the next episode, it's going to be her departure episode. They're going to have a little party for her, and that's pretty much going to be it. Um, the episode pretty much ended with a battle between Diana and Lee Kuan Roy, where it was pretty much just to land a hit on Arcanine, which they do end up doing. But I'm going to be honest, guys, I'm pretty sick of seeing Sprigatito and Fikoko do everything. They... Why do we have... Watch Roll and Hatena exist if they're not going to battle. What, what is the point of Liko and Rory making captures if they don't use them? So that was pretty much my low point for this episode. I would have loved to see Watch Roll and Hatena battle for a change instead of just seeing the exact same thing over and over from Spigatito and Fue Coco because they pretty much just do the exact same thing they always do. Use Leafage, use Flamethrower, use Stomping Tantrum, get hit and almost faint, and then come together and then land a hit with teamwork. And that's pretty much what happened here. So... I'm just kind of tired of it. I really want to see more of Watch and Antenna Battle, so hopefully we can see that in the future. That's pretty much my main takeaway from this. Let us see more of Watch and Antenna. I don't mind Spigotu and Fuchou Coco, but we just see them all the time. They do everything. They're always up there Pokeballs doing everything, so I just want to see that changed. But like I said, that's pretty much it for this review because that's all that happened. I'm probably not going to review next week's episode because, like I said, I really don't care too much about Diana. I don't see myself caring about her departure. And the other half of that episode is seeing a Methio battle. And you guys know I don't care about the Explorers or Methio. So I'm probably not going to review next week's episode. I might leave a community post if that. But otherwise, it's going to be it for my review for this week and next week too. So I'll let you guys know when the next review is coming. Long story short, this episode was okay. Pretty much only for the first half. I really just would like to see better for the second half. For battling for Liquor and Roy, I want to see the other Pokemon battle. It was nice seeing Terrapagos terrestrialize into its, or I guess, seeing its terrestrialized form. But yeah, hopefully we can see more of that in the future. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments of this episode, and I will see you guys all next time. Thank you!